Hello, I'm Andy Green, and I'm the driver for the Bloodhound supersonic car. Pushing the boundaries is part of the human condition. We don't climb Everest because we want to know what's up there. It's about climbing to push back what human beings can achieve. Now, Everest has been climbed. Man has walked on the moon. There are very few genuine records and genuine boundaries left. And pushing the world land speed record to the absolute limit of modern technology is one of those very few records. We're building a car that is part supersonic jet fighter, part next generation space rocket, and part cutting edge Formula One technology. The sum total of which is gonna travel at a thousand miles an hour. My background is a mathematician and a Royal Air Force fighter pilot. I also was involved with the Thrust Supersonic Car Project, which still today holds the only supersonic world land speed record. So when it came to Bloodhound building the world's first thousand mile an hour car, of course I'd want to be involved. Britain has the most incredible engineering heritage. Right from building things like the world's first iron bridge and the world's first steam engine, the world's first railway, all the way to the things that make the modern world fast moving and, uh, and fulfilling as it is. Everything from jet engines to the internet. We have the most astonishing ability to create, to engineer, to design. That is something that we've been doing for hundreds of years. That is something Britain is still world class at. And the thing I love about Bloodhound is we're not only working with all that engineering and technology, we're not only able to show it off on a global scale, but we're also able to inspire the next generation to get them excited about it. The kids who will invent the next generation of remarkable things. Project Bloodhound is all about them. The extraordinary thing about Project Bloodhound is it is an open access project. So for instance, we have 12 UK universities and universities in the UK don't just teach academic subjects, they are world-class research institutions in themselves. So the world's best um, aerodynamic research uh, facility in this particular field of supersonic aerodynamics at ground level is Swansea University. It's extraordinary to have that kind of support and of course it's not just the universities, it is the undergraduate and the postgraduate students who are doing world-class research as part of the university syllabus and as part of Project Bloodhound. And because it's open access, we can share all of that with the whole world. So every single time Bloodhound runs, it will stream live video and hundreds of channels of live data to the internet. So kids of all ages, from six years old to 96 years old, can watch what we're doing live as the world's largest engineering experiment, share the excitement and share the adventure. The university's a part of that. The whole world is going to be part of that. Project Bloodhound is making all of that happen.